Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for November 2022. I am going to take a quick second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. Also, please keep in mind that these events are predictive in nature. So if they're not occurring right now, they may be occurring in the next few weeks. So let's get started, Scorpio. Spirit, can you bring me the energy of Scorpio for November? Scorpio for November. Okay, so you have a new beginning happening. We have the Fool. Let's see what's crossing it. We have the Hangman in reverse. Okay, so you have a new beginning. Um, this took a while to happen. And I do feel that during that time, you started viewing things a little differently. Let's see what happened in the past. The Two of Cups. You fell in love. Yeah, you fell in love with someone. This person could be your twin. Um, most likely a soulmate could be a twin. Let's see why all this is happening. The Seven of Cups. Someone had options. I feel like someone was also um, manifesting this. There may have been some confusion, but I feel like someone definitely had options. Let's see, um, let's see what's on your mind here, Scorpio. By the way, happy birthday to all you Scorpios out there. Scorpio season. What's on the mind of Scorpio? The strength card. You've tried to be very strong. You feel that this is a very strong connection as well. That it's a very primal connection. Yeah, somebody feels it's a very primal, strong connection. Very, very grounded. Um, I hear ancient. I don't... Somebody feels it's an ancient, primal connection. Um, let's see what may be happening in November that you don't see coming. Nine of Swords, Reverse. You're going to um, get rid of all this anxiety. You're going to be able to release this. Something's going to happen that's going to release the anxiety that you've been experiencing. Now, you're showing up as the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. You're showing up as feeling a little stuck, feeling like things are not moving forward. Or maybe feeling that the timing is off. Let's see the energy coming towards you. The Five of Swords could be somebody that uh, you are in a conflict with. Could be somebody that might be a little bit prideful or arrogant. But there does appear to be some conflict here. Um, let's see Spirit's advice, which would make sense. That's why you had this, uh, this anxiety, but you're going to be able to release that. Show me spirit's advice. Show me spirit's advice. The sun in reverse. There's something that you don't know. There's something that you don't see that, that's not been revealed. And what is the outcome? Yeah, you may not see something coming. And I feel like it's this new beginning because you see that in this new beginning, it's in the dark. Like her hands are even out. Like she's she's moving towards this new beginning, but she's in the dark. So she can't see where she is, which is in direct contrast to the sun where it's so lit up. So there's something you can't see. It's this new beginning. The seven of pentacles is your outcome. Okay, so that's investment. Yeah, investing into something, being patient. It can also be unconditional love. Uh, bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords in the reverse. This is underlying energy. Now, what this tells me is that there is a 
lack of clarity here. There's, and, and I see that here, there's a lack of clarity. Um, could be that you feel that somebody's not being truthful with you and that's causing a lack of clarity. And it could also be that uh, there are things that aren't being said that you that's causing that lack of clarity or you may not be speaking with someone right now. Or the communication could be, you know, limited at best. So let, but I see changes happening for you, but I feel like you're not going to see those changes coming. So let's, uh, let's clarify the fool. Why is the fool here? You have the Eight of Cups and you have the Emperor. I keep getting these, um, <laughs> I keep getting Twin Flame cards today. Okay, so there's, uh, there's a new beginning. And that new beginning is with someone who either walked away from you or you walked away from them. Uh, the Emperor is coming up in the upright, which is a very positive thing. It tells me that someone here is taking charge of the situation. So if you're a divine feminine, the divine masculine is going to be taking charge of the situation. And I see a new beginning. This is, uh, whoever walked away is going to be walking back in, in your direction or you and theirs. I feel like they're walking in your direction because you're not seeing it coming. And I feel like this situation has gone on for a very long time. I feel like you've talked to friends about this. Um, you have been very confused. And I feel like these friends have uh, tried to help you to view things differently. Yeah, the two of cups reversed and the three of coins. This is the person that um, you have this strong relationship with, the Two of Cups. This is the person from your past, your past person. There's been a breakup. Somebody walked away. And now they're coming back in after a very long time in order to offer a contract, to offer a commitment, to be cooperative, to take charge of the situation, to build a foundation they're looking at things differently as well. Let's see uh, the past. Show me the past spirit. What is the two of cups here? Okay, we have the moon, sign of cancer. We have the Nine of Cups. This may have been a hidden relationship, but it was your your wish um, to, to have this relationship. It was your, this person was everything you could wish for. And so I feel like you, you accepted it. Um, I, I, I am seeing that twin energy. I saw it in the very beginning. Um, but I feel like this was a secret relationship. And I feel like this person was your, they, they checked all your boxes in the past, but there was a breakup. I can see that. Let's see why the seven of cups is here. This person's coming back around. All right, we have the seven of coins reversed. And there's the ace of swords in the upright. So this is all happening because somebody um, is impatient for communication. Um, whoever had options, somebody had options here and created a lot of confusion. This person also was not investing in this connection. And I think that now there's an impatience to bring clarity, to bring communication to clear up the confusion. And that's why all this is happening. I, I feel like it's the divine masculine. Why is the strength card here? Let's 
the Knight of Cups reversed in the Hierophant. You're holding back emotionally. You're, you're waiting for a commitment. You're being strong in the situation. You, you feel the strength of the connection as well, but you're holding back your emotions. You want to, you want to come in. You want to offer emotions, but you're, you realize you have to hold back. You're not accepting um, anything less than commitment here. And you're being strong in your position. Let's look at what's coming in November. So I can see that you've gone through a lot of anxiety and worry and stress. And I can see that um, there's been tears. There's been sleepless nights, perhaps. This has been painful. Oh, that's not okay. Sorry, I'm going to redo that. Leaving the cards that were already there. My hand slipped. I apologize, Scorpio. Let's try that again. I always like to think that regardless of what happens like that, that it's meant to be because, you know, nothing ever happens but what it's meant to happen. Okay, so... We have the Queen of Swords reversed. We have the Three of Wands reversed. Ace of Wands reversed. We have the Seven of Cups reversed. Seven of Swords. Wheel of Fortune reversed. That's in your energy. Nine of Pentacles. Two of Wands. And the Six of Coins. Okay. So, I see that uh, what's coming in November is there's going to be a relief of this anxiety that you've been experiencing, um, something is going to resolve that. Um, I can see that you, you cut someone out here. You grew tired of waiting. So I feel like you waited, you waited, you waited, you waited for this new beginning. This new beginning didn't happen. And so I do think you, you, at some point you got fed up. You even got a little angry and that's likely when the conflict happened. And I feel like you decided, okay, this is not, this is not where um, my future lies, at least not under these circumstances. And I feel like you turned this person down because you felt that they were coming in just for sex and you weren't having it. So you cut this person out. You told them, I'm not going to be an option. Yeah, they weren't investing. They made you an option. And you said, I'm not going to be an option. You got real clear and real direct. There was, there was uh, deceit. There was uh, lying. There were secrets. There were, there were things in this connection. It was a hidden connection. And you were stuck. You felt stuck. Now, keep in mind, for some of you, this has occurred already. For others, this is going to occur. And if that's the case, um, a timeline for you would be, um, I would say that you cut this person out. You either already have or you will at the very beginning of the month. But these are, this is you processing all of this. And this is that waiting energy, you know, that you've gone through. And you're not waiting per se, like, I can't, I'm, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I'm, it's not like that. You're processing this, you're healing, you're working on yourself. 
as, as you're processing this. And healing takes time, Scorpio. I mean, you don't just say, okay, we're done and I'm good. It, it just doesn't work that way. So this is, I feel like this is you processing this. And we see this stuck energy. Now, towards the end of the month, I see you kind of uh, coming to this place where you are, you are like solid. I mean, your money looks good. You have kind of regained your your um, independence here. Your self esteem is back up, and you're you're kind of moving forward independently and single. And people are noticing you. And then I see, I see you deciding. You may take. You may decide to travel. Some of you may travel at the end of November. Others of you, though, I see, I see an energy of going in a new direction. You're making a decision to go in a new direction. And I do see you bringing balance back into your life. So the end of November find you basically in this independent, very attractive. I'm, I'm going to start getting myself back out a little bit. I'm much more balanced. You look very generous. You look very prosperous. And you have a glow about you. But I also see some of you traveling and I see you determined to go in a new direction. The thing is, is I, I'm seeing over here, I'm seeing your person bossing up and moving back into the, your, your energy. And I see this new beginning, but I'm not seeing it here. So I, I'm curious about that. So maybe that's what's coming. That's the energy that's coming. Uh... I don't know. Let, let's let's uh, let's clarify over here. Let's see why the wheel of fortune is in reverse. Because I am seeing your energy there. All right. We have the queen of wands reversed. We have justice reversed. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, Gemini, or I'm sorry, not Gemini. Um, you could be dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, you could be dealing with a Libra. And then I see, okay, so we have Justice Reverse, and then we have the Seven of Wands. Yeah, so you, you're feeling stuck because you don't want to be the other, other woman. You don't want, or other man. You, you feel that that is wrong. You feel that this is not the correct treatment for you. And so you're, you're, you're asking for karmic justice here and you're, you're feeling put out by this and I don't blame you. And I see that in your energy here too. It, it's making you a little angry and you're going to stand your ground. You're telling this person, you're not going to treat me this way. You're not going to, you know, have me as an option. This is not happening. And so you're standing your ground. You're standing up for yourself, but with the Wheel of Fortune, it, it also makes you feel a little stuck. And I see that over here too. But you're doing the right things. You're healing and you're standing your ground. So I, I feel like you're, you're, the end of the month is going to find you, you know, in a much better place. Let's look at their energy. They have the Five of Swords. Why? Why is the Five of Swords here? I feel like this person doesn't fight fair. Queen of Cups reversed, water sign energy, Pisces. So this is their, this is actually their focus on you. They, they think you're being unreasonable. Wow. Okay. All right. Page of Pentacles reversed. That's just rich. And 10 of coins reversed. You turned them down. 
turned them down and they think you're being unreasonable, it's because you turned down the wand and you're saying, no, I'm not going to, I'm not doing this. This is, you're not treating me right. So they think you are being emotionally manipulative by turning down their offer and ending things. So they're mad. Wow. Okay. Well, you know what? You can stay mad. That's what I'd say. That's just, that's not cool. Let's see why the sun is here. That's just rich. I don't know what to say about that. I think I'd have some words for that person. Okay, so we have the Six of Swords, we have the King of Wands, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. So there's something here that you don't see, and what is it? Well, <laughs> what you don't see is that someone is going to take action. They're headed in your direction. Spirit is saying... <laughs> Someone is headed in your direction. They're moving towards bringing uh, something calmer. Not bringing the chaos from before, but bringing something calmer. And this is someone who is very passionate about you. And they're going to take action to bring in a stable new beginning. So, but I'm not seeing it in November is the thing. So, I don't know. It, what I'm seeing in November is that this person is peevish because they're not getting their way. And they're basically, instead of taking responsibility, they're just pissed off because you turned them down. And you may have already told them, look, you have to end something else. I'm not accepting any offers from you as long as you're in another a commitment, a long-term commitment. And so what they're doing is they're trying to say, oh, well, you're just being manipulative. No, mofo, you're being manipulative. All right, let's look at the seven of pentacles. They irritate me. This person irritates me. But spirit is saying that <laughs> somebody's taking action. And over here, I'm seeing a new beginning and I'm seeing it's the divine masculine. Now, it may not be this person. It might be that you have somebody new coming in, but it's showing me that there's passion here and somebody's moving in your direction. So maybe it's a new person. I, I don't know. Um, why is the Seven of Pentacles here? have the Four of Cups, you have the Seven of Wands, and you have the Three of Cups reversed. So you're, you're patient. At the end of the month, you're being patient. I see a missed opportunity because something is being blocked and you're not happy about it. I'm also seeing that you are, are not really going out, so you might be isolating a little bit, at which point you're blocking your blessings. So I'm getting two messages here, Scorpio. I'm getting that you are to be patient because there's a missed opportunity, but it's being deliberately blocked even though you're not happy about it. I, I feel like it's this person. But the other message that I'm getting, and they both apply, is that you, if you are isolating and not going out, so some of you guys are isolating. You're, you're not going out. You're kind of just um, nose to the grindstone. You're, you're not, um, you're, you're working a lot. 
you're you're basically avoiding social conditions or social situations because you're you're not putting yourself in a situation where you could meet others or you give off the air of already being taken but if you don't go out and mix and mingle and I'm not saying you have to start dating but by keeping yourself isolated you are blocking a blessing you are blocking an, a blessing and you're being guided here to invest in this blessing stop blocking it <laughs> you're you're cock blocking yourself <laughs> can't can't title it that way but that's what you're doing so I really think that you may have somebody new coming in. All this time, I'm thinking it's this person. Because it is a strong connection. It's like you even convinced me. But maybe this is a false twin flame or something. I, I, don't, I don't know. Um... Like, I, I felt the strength of it, too. And so, I was to totally convinced. At this point, I'm not totally convinced, Scorpio, that it's going to be the same person. For some of you, it might be. What I am convinced of is that you got to get out of your own way because there is somebody that is moving in your direction. And they're going to bring a stable beginning. And it's going to be passionate, and whoever this is, I, I feel like you're going to be passionate about them as well. But you got to get out of your own way. I, I guess I'm confused because we have the emperor coming back here. And it might be that they both come back because it's all happening because there's options. So you may have options. But I don't think any of it's going to actually occur in November because I don't see that. I see you regaining your balance in November. I see you kind of blocking your blessings. But Spirit's saying it's coming. It is coming. Somebody is. Let's see. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> Two of swords. So what this tells me. Sorry. What this tells me is that there's a decision that's going to be made. You're going to make a decision. I think you're going to have options here. All right, I'm going to pull you an oracle card. And I'm sorry your reading's going long. I, I'm just intrigued. Let me pull you an oracle card before we stop. Oh, look at that. It says, follow the signs. It's number 44, so you've got double fours. That's very, very stable. All right, follow the signs. All right, hold on just a second, because I'm going to read that directly out for you. I feel like that's very important. All right, it says, This Kitsune girl is creating magical signs out of her holy fox fire. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that just sounds wrong. Um, signs, omens, messages for you to follow while you walk your path. She wishes for you to have guidance, and her purpose is to create this fire. And when you see this card, you know that the messages and the signs coming to you are to be trusted and are worth following. This is a sense of union, friendship, and trustworthy allies when this card comes. And she acknowledges that you are following the right path and that your trust in the signs that have been coming to you is not misplaced. This sense of following something subtle, strange, and not quite knowable is a tentative path and a mysterious one. And many of you have said you are fools for letting such things be your advisors. But this card says that you can grow in confidence and know that the warmth and the light of the sacred fire of the Kitsune is part of the gift that the universe is sending you. You have found her. She is saying yes, 
And now it is for you to tune in, connect, and keep your inner guidance strong and healthy. There is a purity to this process and a passionate energy. Go where the fire of the kitsune leads you, for it is growing in power and your intuitive understanding is becoming deeper, clearer, and more and more luminous with every step. Okay, well, I mean, that's basically saying that you're going to see signs. You're going to be given signs. I, I'm sorry, guys. I, I just couldn't help but giggle when it says that, that she's creating magical signs out of our holy fox fire. <laughs> I just, I'm sorry. That just is funny to me. All right. I apologize. It's just too funny. Um, you guys should be receiving signs. Trust your intuition. All right. Um, if you're interested in a private reading, the information is in the box beneath the video. And um, if you enjoyed the reading, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to hit the thumbs up. And also, if you want to leave me a comment, please go ahead and do so. And until then, be sure to follow the signs of your holy foxfire. <laughs> All right, until I see you guys in the weekly readings, namaste.